Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. My name is Valerie Ruiz. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, September 12, 2022. Now let's take a brain break. Uh, Destiny, why don't you come up? Do I have to? Yeah, come on. It'll be fun. All right. Destiny, come back! As you can see, Destiny was trying to avoid getting called up, but when she did, she started shaking and ran out of class. What she could have done was tell the teacher how she's feeling instead of running out. Uh, Destiny, why don't you come up? Do I have to? Yes, come on, it'll be fine. Destiny? Thank you. As you can see, Destiny was trying to avoid getting called up, but when she did, she did not stay quiet and she told the teacher how she was feeling. Remember, if you're ever feeling like you can't do something, don't be shy to ask for help. It's always great to build our self-confidence. Now let's learn a new word with word of the day. How do you like the new science teacher? I'm a bit sad that Miss Smith left, but I really like the new teacher. Yeah, she's very humble. Yeah, she treats us respectfully and never looks down on us. Well, it's a good thing she's respectful. Yeah, you're right. I'm glad we have a humble teacher that really cares about us. See you tomorrow on Word of the Day. Wow, what a great word. Now let's see what happens today in history with Aiden. Thank you, Melanie. Patriots, in today's history on September 12th, 1940 in France, Four teenage boys found the Cade Lux Scout. Over 600 partial wall paintings cover the interior walls and ceilings, which contains one of the most outstanding displays of prehistoric art ever discovered. They show cattle, bison, felines, a bird, a bear, a rhinoceros, and a human. These paintings look really majestic. Those kids must have been really talented. Now let's see what's cooking with Santiago. Thank you, Aiden. Today's lunch is hamburger, waffle fries, peach slices, and your choice of milk. Students, please keep in mind that your lunch can change at any time, and don't forget to let your teachers know if you're going to be receiving lunch today. Bon appétit. Now let's go to Jasmine for sports. Sports fans, last Thursday in Brian Piccolo Park, boys flag football played against Cooper City, and even though we lost 31-26, to just a touchdown away, it was a hard and fought game. Thank you. Football players for scoring those touchdowns. And of course it's okay to lose, because we improve every game. Also, thank you cheerleaders, you were outstanding. Last week our girls volleyball sadly lost 25-7 to against Renaissance Charter School at Cuba City. But our girls tried hard and we are very proud of their effort. Also, we would like to do a shout out to Nia Lenny's Maria for showing the most improvement during this game. Let's get them next time team! Now let's go back to Melanie. Thanks Jasmine and great effort Patriots. Testing started last week, let's keep succeeding on these tests. Teachers, take a look on your schedule to see when it's your time to test. Today, K through second grade will be taking their star reading assignment. Good luck! Calling all Super Patriots. We have a new instructional software challenge. 
Your mission is to pass 25 past lessons in reading and 25 past lessons in math. K through second, your challenge will be on iReady. Third through eighth, your challenge will be on Imagine Math. Scholars, progress reports will be ready to be viewed on September 13th. The top 10 users of Kipboard users for last week were... You guys are doing great. Elementary is at a 94 positivity rate. Middle school is at an 88 positivity. Amazing. Keep up doing those positive points. The Patriot Store will be opening soon. We will also be having a kickboard celebration at the end of quarter one. Our Menchie's fundraiser event is on Tuesday, September 20th from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Show these flyers for 20% off your purchase to be donated to our school. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. Make sure your phone is shut down and in your backpacks at all times. Now let's see what the weather is looking like today with Valencia. Thanks, Melanie. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is looking like a high of 90 degrees and a low of 71. Make sure to suit up if you're heading out. In other weather news, a new pest is marching north. Research shows that climate change could mean more problems. The corn earworm. The corn earworm is a pest that thrives in best in warmer climates. They can attack many crops. These crops include corn, cotton, soybeans, and tomatoes. This is very damaging to the fields that they grow in. But researchers are now saying that the earworms could potentially spread up north. This could cost the Department of Agriculture around $1 billion. Let's hope researchers can keep studying these worms to predict their next move. Now let's go to Chanel and Destiny for Hot Topic. Thank you, Valencia. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot, Hot Topic. Topic. I'm Destiny. And I'm Chanel. And here's what's trending this week. Even though we always talk about national days, you might actually like this one. It's National Video Game Day. Today is a day to play Minecraft, enjoy some Fortnite, and battle the multiverse. Can't wait to go home and play my favorite video games. McDonald's lovers aren't going to be happy about this one. All day breakfast at McDonald's isn't returning. Looks like we can't have our favorite breakfast foods at any other time after 10.30. I'll need to talk to the manager after that. <laughs> For the moment we've all been waiting for, the iPhone 14 Pro Max has officially come out. The phone has an A16 chip and an ultra-wide lens that will have a large sensor to capture more light. All these new features, it's going to be so crazy. Calling all pet owners, Dolly Parton is launching a new pet clothing line called Doggy Parton. She partnered with Spetport Designs to create the line that features over 20 products. Way to go, country queen. That's it for this week, Patriots. Now let's go to Sophia for the birthdays. Thanks, Valencia. Today's birthday boys and girls are Mila Rivera, Luis Frito Perez, Dan Istomaval, and Addison Taylor. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Melanie. Thank you, Sophia. Patriots, here are your Pat's expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Newton, Ms. Jean Francois, Mr. Witzelman, Ms. Stone, Ms. Ian Denqua, and Ms. June. You all had the correct answer to Friday's daily challenge. Now let's watch this video to see why. Now for today's Daily Challenge. Daily Challenge! What gets wet while drying? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you a marvelous Monday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a good day!